In this screencast, I want to walk you through everything that you'll receive in your partner folder on Google Drive when you join and become a partner at PursueGod.org. Now, currently, I've got two tabs open, the folder tab. These are the partner documents in the partner folder belonging to Believe Ministries in Des Moines, Iowa. This is what their partner page looks like on the site. So I'm going to be jumping between the two of these so that you can see how the folder and the documents in the folder that you as the partner ministry, you have control over. So when you partner up with us, we will create a folder for you and everything that you see right here will be in your partner folder as well. So I want to walk you through this to show you how to use this and to show you that when you change something in your documents, how it gets reflected over on your web page. So let's start here with the partner page. And as we scroll down, you'll notice the first thing that has some customization to it is the request a mentor form. When you click here to request a mentor, you'll notice that it brings uh, the person that's surfing your page to this form. It's a request a mentor form. And everything that you see on this form can be edited and updated and changed by you. Let me show you how to do that in your documents. So notice you have two items that are titled mentor requests. The first one is the form itself, that's purple. And the second one is the spreadsheet that contains the responses. So anytime somebody in your ministry fills out a mentor request form, then that will go into this particular form. So I wanna show you two things. First of all, let's go ahead and fill out a dummy request. I'm gonna just put test in there for the name. The number is going to be, of course, 555555, male, and um, nothing to see here. And I'm going to submit that. Now, once you submit that, uh, once that person on the other end submits that, requ that mentor request, what will happen is that gets gathered here in your responses. So let's take a look at that. When I open up the mentor request responses, you'll see, sure enough, this person named Test filled it out. There was their number, there was their gender, and there was some stuff about them. Now, what I would encourage you to do is to sort of clean up this a little bit. And, um, you know, you don't need this much space for the phone number. Certainly don't need that much space for gender. And then this section right here can be a note section if you want to. Um, we're going to just call this notes. And, you know, that's for staff follow-up. So you can say... Pastor John followed up with this one. So this is just a real simple way for you to gather the mentor requests. Let me just show you one more thing about how to maximize the use of your forms to make sure that anytime someone fills out your form that you get notified. If you come over here to tools, click on notification rules, you can set this up that it's going to notify you anytime a user submits a form and you can say notify me right away. And when you are logged into your Gmail account and you click those two things and click save, then automatically Gmail is going to notify you anytime someone fills out the form request a mentor on your site. So that was mentor requests and again it was right here. And let's scroll down the page to see some additional customizations. And you'll find these way at the bottom where it says just for leaders. There's two more things that you'll find on your page. And one is your milestones. Now, this is a form that's embedded in your page. And once a leader starts taking someone through uh, the discipleship process through your page, you're going to want to make sure to show them how to track their milestones. You can check out another video another topic on why you should do milestones but for this particular video i just want to show you how it actually works when someone fills out a milestone log on your site then again just like the other form once again it's going to populate the milestone log responses form so same thing let's open this up here's the milestone log responses form Again, you can use this with your staff to do some follow-up, some tracking and follow-up. And once again, go to Tools, 
and notification rules if you want to get notified on any time a user submits this particular form. So these two forms are important, the mentor request form, because that way you can encourage people to request a mentor and then stay on top of that and fill those requests in your ministry. And then secondly, the people who are mentoring can go to the leader section at the bottom of your page, fill out the milestones so that you can follow up with them, celebrate with them, give them the support that they need to continue to do you know, the most important thing in your ministry, which is to make disciples. Now, one more thing I want to show you here. If you want to change your mentor request form or your milestone log form, you can just do it right here. So go through this form. You can add new content. You can add change or add questions. And that's, you can move these questions around. It's, it's pretty self-explanatory. So let me just show you real quick. If I want to if I want to add a question, I click on the plus button and then I can say test question and I can make it multiple choice or I can make a checkbox or short answer and I can do option one and option two and option three and I can decide if I want to make it required or not. And then that particular question is done. And I can move this thing around. I can grab it and move it and reorder it wherever I want to put the question. So one more thing to show you as far as customizations, and that's, again, back at your Just for Leaders section. When you click on Leader Notes, what you'll notice here is a place for you to speak specifically and directly to all of your leaders. Anything that you see in this Leader Notes section is right here in this Leader Notes document. So if you go into this leader notes document and you want to talk to them about the training that you have coming up or you want to do some Q&A, just type it in here. Type in the answer. You know, you can I like to keep the formatting really simple and uh, anything that you do here within five or 10 minutes is going to show up right here on at the bottom of your uh, page under leader notes. So this is a way for you to train your leaders to check out the leader notes. Let's say they have commonly asked questions. You can just tell them, we'll put it in, we'll put the answers in leader notes. Or let's say people are saying, hey, um, I want to know how you're going to stay in the loop with all of the mentors in your church or in your ministry. Teach them to check in on leader notes. So I know that was a lot of information and your consultant can help you if you have additional questions on any of this, but that is what that partner page Google folder is all about. It's filled with all of the customizations. So make sure that you use them well as you make disciples in your ministry.